Hello everybody, Puzzle Pieces back with more of Trick and Treat. Um, Axel and Ashley are discussing uh, a plan to fight Lillian, and we are just discussing it, and Axel is being an asshole. So, while we're on the same team, I think that some things simply will never change. I stay silent for a moment, looking down while I think on the solution. Ashley stares at me impatient. I don't feel love towards you, but once I felt it for someone else, I could try to remember those feelings so that you can use them as energy. Ashley thinks deeply for a moment. I guess it's worth a try, she said, not sounding very convinced, but it was certainly better than nothing. After that, the two of us stare at each other's eyes for a couple of seconds without saying a word. Then we suddenly divert our looks at the same time, embarrassed. We were acting like kids. Are you ready? Ashley asked almost lovingly. It's easy to notice that she was taking this seriously. I nod. Yes, whenever you want, we can start. I replied just before closing my eyes and trying with all my heart to re revive that image. Suddenly Ashley holds my hands. Even with my eyes closed, I can feel her presence near. That makes me somewhat nervous, but I have to relax. I exhale, letting my concerns go with my breath. Ew, you just breathed in her in front of her. She probably have really bad breath. Her soft hands, her hands softly caress mine to help me relax. Then I start to remember something that happened many years in the past. Oh, flashback? Oh, maybe not. When I was young, every summer I went to my grandparents' house to visit them. I didn't like it because they had nothing fun there. Only an old TV and dusty books I had no interest in reading. However, whenever I went there, I could see her. Her? Who's her? A girl with brown long hair who, had al who had always had a cute dress. When I saw her for the first time, I could feel a strange fascination for her, for her fragile and inexplicable beauty. I watched her at a distance, stalker, without knowing what this feeling was. I only knew that something in her called me. It was more than just beautiful. Her beauty was <clears throat> something with many layers, with many fa fos fosse? Fosse? I don't know. Her gestures, her expressions, her way of playing, they were all beautiful. Finally, one day, I had the courage to ask her to play together. Without even thinking about it, she told me yes. All the afternoon we spent playing, until it inevitably began to get dark. She was a simple girl, enjoyed playing as anyone else, but I still could not remove my eyes from her. Aww. When the day ended, she said goodbye to me with a radiant smile. I have forgotten it, how beautiful it was, how astonished I was after seeing it. After that day, I never got to see her again. Last thing I knew, her family moved to another country. Aww. I do not know if that was a predestined love or just my inexperienced fear feelings confused with something new but without a doubt it was beautiful i do not want to forget it again never again Aww. then unexpectedly i felt ashley giving me a shy kiss on the lips it was immersive immersal something only lasted enough to feel it to know that it was real but at that same time, that shyness gave to a special beauty. It was a sweet kiss. There were no more words to describe it. Aww. I opened my eyes, finding Ashley one step away from me, completely blushing and looking away from me. She is silent, but doesn't look angry in the least. Her eyes, her red eyes are gentle, although embarrassed. Are you alright? I ask with kindness while I look at her. My heart is calmly quickened has calmed quickly after the kiss. I don't show it, but somehow I feel liberated, lighter. Ashley turns her head to look, at, to look me in the eyes. Yes, thank you, she said with shyness. However, she then breathes deeply and magically recovers her proud attitude. I believe that this, is, that this will be enough to stop her. The plan was a success. I'm really pleased. That's fantastic to hear. Ashley closes her eyes and nods a couple of times. She then is not scolding. I must confess that she's very cute. Anyway, we can't wait any longer. 
Every second we talk, William must be using it to plan her revenge. We have to go now and stop her. Ashley explains, acting with complete sin sincereness. Seriousness, sorry. <laughs> Our little break had ended. Yes, let's go. Was my short response overflowing with determination. There's no more to say. Let's go. Let's kick Lil Lil Lillian's ass. 340. We will kill her with daylight. <clears throat> wow, voice acting hurts the throat. The way back to the cabin feels short this time. Before I knew it, I was in front of it was in front of my eyes. Lillian is outside, next to the door. She is waiting for us. Brave night. I see you finally come. Came. <laughs> Whoops, I mean came, she said with a confident smile. Her attitude is very different from the first time I saw her. Just from looking at her, I'm sure of it. She is not an innocent soul. Oh, we got two of them on the screen now. It's a, sh it's a shame to see you with that woman. I had, ho I had hopes for you. Axel wouldn't be fooled by you again. Ashley's res uh, reply ta take talking in my place. At that moment, I see Lillian making a grimace of disgust. But soon she recovers her looks of confidence. I wanted Axel to be my companion, since he kindly came to my rescue. But, oh well, it's not important. I already got enough energy from him. With that alone, I have surpassed you. Oh, evil, evil eyes. Finally, I will be able to get rid of you, Ashley, said Lillian, pronouncing her name with a mocking tone while giving us a malicious smile. Her victory was, the, was in the palm of her hand. Ashley instantly roars furious. We won't we won't know until you try it. After saying uh, that, she crosses her arm with pride. Once I beat you, nothing shall stop me from completing my revenge. Why do you want to do that? It's been far too long. The people who hurt you are already gone. And not even the memory of the crime committed here exists anymore. It's just a village of innocent people. You're right. But someone has to suffer," responded Lillian, without hesitation, no doubt a single moment leaving me completely cold. After seeing my reaction to her answer, she directed an evil smile right at me, as if her words meant nothing. That makes me angry. And what do you win by doing that? I yell at the same time I close my hands into fists. I simply couldn't accept it. It was too much. I just want them to suffer like I did. If I don't make them suffer, then who will? Who will be the carrier of this hate that every day eats at me from inside like parasites which sicken me and deform me? Lillian pauses. It is unfair that I continue to suffer while they are innocent. Lillian then speaks out at the same time she hits her chest showing how much that meant for her. This is more than pain. It is the proof of my existence. She pauses and exhales, calming herself. Anyway, enough with speeches. I will end you, and then bring my revenge to the townspeople. Ooh. Then without saying anything more, the battle between the two began. It was something that my mind could not comprehend. And this is why we're not seeing it, I guess. <laughs> a power, a show of power and magic that performed it literally itself. Ooh. Ooh. Ashley repeatedly attacks by firing a strange translucent power as if hot air. Just from seeing it, I know that it that it has enough strength to knock down a house, but Lillian doesn't even blink. Ooh. She calmly moves a hand, creating a barrier that reflects her attacks each time. Interestingly, it was Ashley who was most active. She attacked instantly from many different angles, while Lillian stays uh, still, reflecting her attacks and fighting back, always with a smile on her face. After seeing that those attacks will not have effect, Ashley changes strategy. Ooh, she transforms herself into an imaginary white beast and charges it against uh, Lillian. However, Lillian transforms her body just like her into an unknown dark being and resists her attack. Can we see this please? It'd be a lot more fun if we could see this. 
Ashley regains human form, making a grimace of disgust. Both had wounds after this confrontation, but then before my eyes I could see how they place their hands on their wounds and heal them magically. Apparently the two have the same powers, the only thing different was their personalities. There are simply no words to describe it, at least my mind was not able to find them. I only know that during the fight neither of the two seemed to have an advantage over the other. Everything indicated that it was an even match. On several occasions I beheld bright and colorful lights, superhuman abilities, multiplications of bodies, teleportation, healing, transform transformation, and many other powers that seemed to come out of the fairy tale. The combat seems to last forever. Every second, every attack and defense were loaded with so much tension and emotion that time had simply disappeared for me. The only thing that captured my attention was seeing the two girls fighting in such a fra fantastic way. Ooh. Finally, after an unknown time, both fell. On the ground, bloody, they look into each other's eyes. The blue eyes held, beheld the red ones, and vice versa. Both then smiled. Ash Ashley proudly, Lillian with iron, I I irony. It seemed that the two were except and uh, Spain that end. You did very well. I didn't expect it. Lillian said with honesty. You doubted me, stupid girl. Ashley replied with arrogance even though her lips were stained with blood. Lillian then shows us a smile full of malice. You have always been like that. Even the mutual death you consider a victory. You are really an idiot. You should be more selfish. It's strange, but she does not sound angry in the least. You may be right, but all I wanted was... All I wanted was to stop you, replied Ashley, proud of herself. There was not a hint of regret in her words. Okay, I accept my defeat. But at least in these last moments of my life, I want to be in play in, I want to be in peace with you. Okay, are you gonna start singing for good from Wicked? Because this will be kind of interesting if you do. Is that okay? Lillian responded with a friendly smile. To be honest, I was going to say the same thing, Ashley said with an ironic smile. I, sil I silently watched them both as they talk, feeling a strange fascination mixed with an un unmistakable feeling of sadness. I just met them this evening, but somehow it pains me to see them as that. Somehow I formed a bond with them. Uh, yeah, you kissed both of them. It was then that I see them slowly start to disappear. Suddenly, the two turned to set their eyes on me, giving me one last smile. Goodbye, noble knight. I confess, I enjoyed kissing you. It wasn't all an act. Lillian said, looking at me with a tenderness that breaks my heart. Aww. She doesn't want to say anything. Thank you. Ashley. I can't help but feel nostalgia at that moment. I knew this was going to be our last goodbye. Even if I didn't want to admit it, that was her fate. Is it all right for it to end all for it to end like this? Don't worry, everything will be fine now. Finally, my reason for existing has been fulfilled. I have no regrets. Then, this is our goodbye. Yes. Aww. Suddenly, she recovers her proud attitude. However, this time she was different. She was happy, really happy. It was a pleasure to meet you. Stupid human, Ashley said with the arrogance of always. <laughs> but now, instead of anger, it made me feel like I was about to cry. Oh, don't cry. It was fun to meet you, said the two surprisingly in unison. Those were their last words. Wow. That was an ending. <laughs> then they disappear dispersed in the form of particles of light, as if small fireflies were escaping from their bodies with a beautiful but depressing green color. Without thinking, I run towards them. Even if I couldn't do anything, I wanted to touch them one last time. Of course you did, you pervert. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but the only thing my hands were able to reach are the particles of light that slip out between my fingers as if they were water. Then I see the light rise, higher and higher, 
until it disappears in the night sky. Oh, and then we're at the... Ah, what a good time. I did it. I'm a hero. I'm the one who finally broke the curse. Now no one else will be trapped by it. But then, why do I have this face that looks like as if it wants to cry but has no tears? Why do I feel so terribly bad? Life is more than just victories or defeats. That night, I learned it in the best way. Well, we're going to find out the rest of this and hopefully find the other ending of the story because there's another, there's one more left in the next video. So stay tuned for that. This is Puzzle Pieces signing off.